What's going on guys, this is Makai San, and we got a Bleach Rebirth of Souls V Jump Scan. Now at this time, we have a new person that's posting the scans, Yomu underscore manga. So this scan comes from them. Ryuchi translated it in Shonen Games is the typeset. I don't know what that means, but he posted it. He's the plug. Anyways, so shout out to all three of them. Now, in terms of this particular V-Jump, it's going over three key areas, the graphics, the story, and the battle. Now, in the battle section, it's really confused some people. I've seen some people already making a comparison to Dissidia, not even lying. And I think some people are very confused. I think it sounds like Dissidia to them, but rest assured, that's not what it is. So go ahead and hit the like button on this video. Let's try to get 100 likes. If we hit to 100 likes, again, let's try to aim for 500 likes on the video. And if you like Bleach and you want to keep up with Rebirth of Souls, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on. So as I outlined, there are three areas of this scan. The story, the graphics, the battle. Not in that particular order. And we're going to be going over each of them and we're going to break down why the comparison of Dissidia is even being brought up and what I personally think. So let's hop into this. Oh, what, yo? Now, first things first, the graphics pretty much once again, we're being told that it supposed to give an immersive feel the graphics the hue what's being given to us is supposed to make us believe we are in the bleach verse so we see a daytime stage of katakura town and we see a nighttime stage of katakura town nonetheless looks great so then we go over to the story side on the story side of things it pretty much say that relive the story of Ichigo Kurosaki he's met with numerous encounters contributing to his growth and you're going to be able to relive his journey in this brand new title. Then it says there are various events such as the Hill of Execution, instruments where Ichigo unleashed his Bankai, as well as a term known as Holification. So from the graphic standpoint, we already know they're after immersion. We know for the story, they're after the retell, the story. They already outlined this stuff. So then what's new? Well, we get into the stuff with the battle segment, and this is when people start acting out. So, the battle area first says, Charge up your character's spiritual power and unleash stylish attacks. Change the tide of battle in a desperate situation. Enjoy stylish battles that as the match unfolds. So, this first thing it says... Uh, Attack, change the tide of battle in a desperate situation. Again, I don't think that everything is going to unfold to you just doing a super powerful attack and then that the match is over. You know, because I think when people heard to end the match in one blow, it makes them worry that this is going to be a very quick thing and it's going to be a very gimmicky approach to a fighting game, which could be very upsetting. But let's keep reading and I'll explain to you why that's not the case. So then it goes over your Zanpakuto is the center of your sword's abilities, your main strategy. Master Zan Kinsoki and turn your enemies back into spirit particles. So Zan Kinsoki is actually a combination of the four basic Shinigami combat. It stands for Zan, which is Anjutsu, Ken, Hakuda, So, Hoho, and Kido, or Ki for Kido. Each of these make up the four principles of Soul Reaper combat, swordsmanship, hand-to-hand -hand combat, movement, and magic. If you're new to Bleach, that's what it is. If you forgot that and you're also a Bleach fan, well, I just refreshed your memory. So then we go over to where it says reverse the flow of battle in a pinch. So, the basics to victory lies in the destruction of souls. By chipping away at your opponent's reishi, you'll reveal their soul, allowing you to launch a decisive broken soul attack. You can aim for reversals with awakening power-ups like Bankai as well. So right now, it's saying that you can aim for reversals with awakening power-ups it also says you can launch a decisive broken soul attack so perhaps over time you use powerful attacks which cause massive damage to the person's soul until they get to the last bit and then you can finish them off with a killing blow 
Because then afterwards on the next, it says use your Zombok to own unique abilities to land the killing blow. So my headcanon, or what I believe this is saying to us is, is that your Reishi is your health. Reishi, as you fight, you lose Reishi. Eventually, you get to a point where now the person can defeat you and it's over. I don't think it's going to be like a special, you build up your HP attacks by building up your brave points. I don't think that's going to be the case. If it is, then it changes the type of game it is from a battle that's action to more of a battle of resource. The type of game that Dissidia was, while fun, it became more of a game of cat and mouse in a way, where the movement was much more important. And if that is the case, then the movement in this game has to be that more important. There has to be more abilities to counter. There, again, they said reversals with awakening power-ups like Bankai. So they're going to have that shit in here. And again, don't forget the Zanpakuto abilities. But the question is, is how is this all going to play out? Right now, I'm not worried about this title because now I think I have an understanding of what they mean by killing blow and why they mean by single strike because that's basically how you end these battles. But there's more to it by throughout the battle. But my one thing that I need to see is I need to see the gameplay, how it plays out, how it looks, and that will be the deciding factor whether this game is going to be ass or not to me. Again, very excited for the bleach game i want to see how this plays out how it's gonna be how it's gonna look how it's gonna feel but we're gonna have to see now this was the v jump for the scan and while we didn't have too much new information aside from the battle stuff there was two areas that we didn't see one we see zangetsu in battle with ichigo which kind of contributes to the idea that he's a part of ichigo's moveset at least when ichigo charges up a special attack it seems then we have this now or never thing popping up on the screen so maybe when you're in a certain pinch and this you do something this pops on the screen very briefly and then you can basically go crazy it's all speculation on that part of what that could mean the only matter of time is is they're gonna have to show us a gameplay which we also did see a game play so if you guys do want me to break down that small bit of gameplay we saw Go ahead and hit the like button on this video. Actually, you know what? If it gets 500 likes somehow by the end of today, I'll drop the video later tonight breaking down that gameplay and what I think. But give me your thoughts on the V-Jump scans. I'm Makai San. I'll catch you guys later. What? Yo.